Welcome back to the Sheffield Wednesday past and present road to glory with an FC 25 ultimate team. Now this week has meant progress and lots of it. I might make these episodes a little less frequent and make sure there's lots of progress in them, but there's some exciting things to work towards, like potentially maybe our first champs qualifiers. I'm drawing the line at qualifiers because let's be honest, if I qualify with this team, we might be struggling. But there is some ways that we can get around the weird objectives, such as score 10 goals with an Argentinian player. The only Wednesday player is eligible is Martinez, so he's got to go up front and score a goal like that. It's the only way we can do it. We have to put our 87 rated keeper up front in a very, very low difficulty squad battle and hope he can score 10 to get us 500 SP, which would be very useful to getting up that season pass. But I was just, I'm trying to think of creative ways around all the limitations. And it just so happened that the only Argentinian player that's played for Wednesday past and present in the whole game is Martinez. So this is the only way we can score 10 goals with an Argentinian player. It's got to be Martinez. And look at that. He absolutely does the defender, brings it back. Look at that. That's a striker's goal. This is in a game that gets a little bit close. So I actually finish it with Antonio as well. Because I do want to not drop the squad battles points. But we didn't need to. Because Martinez gets gets it and celebrates like he's just won the Champions League. Why not? And eventually we do get the SP for that. And that is 500 SP and a pack. So we'd have missed out on that. Sprint Supreme is completed across those squad battles as well. And that's Bernard up to a pace boost. He's got plus 10 on that now, which is very, very useful. We're going to swap Murphy out for a bit and go for Paul Valentin in his evolution. So we've gone for the glow up with, I think it's the glow up or is it power surge? I think it's one of those two we've gone for and to get him to an 84. We also, I've been enjoying these road to the knockout SBCs. They're just, they're worth it. You know, we pack that hero. I'm going to always do the SBCs if there's a pack available while we've got, we ain't got much else to spend our fodder on. Let's be honest. There is something I actually want to talk about at the end of this video that's just happened on the day I'm recording this voiceover that um, we might be spending our fodder on. But look, that pack gets us first own Barkley. So now we've got another first own player that we already had in the squad so we can swap him out. We apply a catalyst to Barkley here and also we apply an engine to Shalaba because I'm looking at the chemistry styles a little bit more. Our midfield's shaping up there now. We are. I do try this rush mode out with Godfrey this centre-back one, and to be fair, it's it's mixed results. I only do one game as the centre-backs, but look here. Guess who gets the first goal? He goes through. It's a terrible goal, but it's the centre-back, and Godfrey gets the first goal. We do end up going through that game, the conceding lots, but we do win it by, I think, one goal there, and we're top performer. So we'll take it, 9.2. I think it's top performer. We were close with 9.2. And I'll be honest, as we get closer to promotion from Division 8, we start coming up against these super teams. Like that Anaki Williams, I've got him in my main team, you know, in the one I'm just having a bit of fun with on my main account. And it's just ridiculous. But he's also got Katoto. And Katoto, I loved last year and absolutely annihilates us in this game. So that one's a one where I go, you know what? I'm done. We go into this one hoping for something a little bit better. I'm just trying to get us them champs points now. Division rivals, there's no, look at a pole there, by the way. He's, he's all right. I might use him as an attacking player. We do get a penalty early in this one, but I'm not convinced that rivals is worth not rage quitting from, to be honest, because you need so many wins to get the objectives. Um, I, I don't see the value in not rage quitting if you're wasting time. Vardy doesn't score the penalty. This guy I thought was going to quit because he'd already tried to pause before the penalty, but he doesn't. Uh, quit. I think when we miss the penalty, that probably gives him incentive. Vardy goes again there, rebounded. Couldn't capitalise on the rebound, but we're going to still press for it. He launches it. We've got quite good with the defence at making sure that they're in a place to catch those long balls now. But Antonio's through. Look at that pass. It's absolutely beautiful. And Vardy hits it with the outside of his foot. Quite proud of that goal. That was decent. Antonio and Vardy's link-up's been great. And um, that is the goal that does make this guy quit. So he does quit on that. And that is us very, very close to promotion. We're getting there. And it's also a plus 10 for Paul Valentin. So he has got overall plus 10, shooting plus 5, passing plus 8, dribbling plus 10, and defending plus 10. 
I really like this either. But look at these teams, Foden, Palmer, Rashford, Walker, Marlon, who's so rapid. I come up against so many of those. I think, you know what? Let's try this five at the back rat tactic. I call it the rat tactic. And I give it a go. And we try it out in this game. We concede immediately. I'm like, really? That's great defense. But that Thoram is ridiculous. He's been haunting my week pretty much. But Valentin, look at this. That's a 76 rated evolution. Valentin absolutely bossed it. And Antonio gets it through there, puts us 2-1 up. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe this tactic is all right. We'll try again. But then we get done by a set piece, which happens. Um, Thoram again. And then Thoram again here, 3-2. Not fantastic. We get through with Bethany England later on in the game, the second half. She scores a goal for us. Our super sub, as always there, levels it at 3-3. Three, three. 76th minute, we're taking Valentin, who cuts quite nicely. He goes all the way through and he wins a penalty there. Really, really good work from Valentin. We're going to have Tavernier take it, who rifles it into the top corner. Absolutely fantastic from Tavernier there, because Vard is not on the pitch at this point. Unfortunately, they do equalise about two minutes later there. Ten minutes to go, it's 4-4. Bannon's on the lot. We're trying to get that winner. But Thoram gets through here, and it's very annoying because we lose because of that. Um, so I decide to ditch that tactic because I don't like it. So we go back to a 4-4-2. I change the roles around slightly. But, yeah, I'm not going to be a five at the back wrap. I'm not feeling it at the minute. This person, though, this is our promotion game. That, that If we win this, we get promoted because we've got back to that stage. A red card early on is good for us. A Vardy goal is even better. I'm surprised they didn't like back out on the red card because most players usually do, but I've got to come up against Messi. Look! It's Messi. That's probably why they haven't backed out. Messi's just dancing around everyone, but Shalabert decides he can do what Messi does and he walks all the way through their defence, puts it in the bottom corner. No power on it whatsoever, but he gets a goal, an unlikely goal for Shalabert there. We're pressing really, really hard to get another goal here with Barkley, who then spins it, brings it to Antonio. Antonio makes it 3-1. I see the pause and I think, is that it? Is that promotion? Is it? I, it's not promotion, but I realise Martinez has been coming up for corners. It takes me so long to fix this because I actually forget to fix it when we come out of the game. And we play about four games with Martinez coming up for corners. He gets one back here, and I think, oh dear, this is where it's going. This promotion game is just not happening to Vision 7, but Barkley's going through. Barkley's, I'm getting used to using him now. He might only have like 53 pace or whatever it is, but I quite like using him. And yes, I'm going to just run in circles here because we want to get promoted. Bring Barkley in. He then just gets fed up, tackles us. It's a penalty. If Vardy scores this, promotion is guaranteed. Vardy! Of course. Vardy scores the goal that takes us to Division 7. So we've gone from the bottom division. We are now in Division 7 in our second week of this RTG. And we're going to try and get those 1,000 champs points and also push towards the, the max reward. There's a couple of games where we sort of push on, get a couple of wins in a row, and that's helpful along the way as well. We're still doing our evolutions, like Paul Valentin here completes... His evolution, he's now 84 rated, 89 pace, 54 shooting, 74 passing, 77 dribbling, 78 defending, and 79 physical. I'm actually going to replace Tavernier as right back and put Paul at right back because I'm going to keep Murphy as a gold for now. And even though I've been debating putting Murphy in the power surge, we're going for Vardy. We're getting him to 82 pace because I, if I'm going to compete at any level in this, I need a striker that because Antonio starts to wane a little bit. I still score with him, but his touch is letting us down. We do some squad battles here and there. We do a few more rivals just to get Vardy through the first few rounds of that evolution. But there's a lot of rivals to play this time. And I know it's all about, oh, well, just play the game. But th there's a lot to do. This one is a, one where we're already a goal up, but I've got to show off Barkley being fantastic there. Lifts it, gets us... Second goal for us there. But Barkley doesn't just do that in this game. He does this. Look at that. Look at that. This guy rage quits from that. But then I look at the end. I don't know why he rage quit on 82 minutes. Just have a cup of tea or something. I didn't realise you could do all of this. Like the drone presets and the highlighter and stuff like that. But I just thought we'd have a look at this Vardy goal. Because Vardy goal, Barkley goal. Because um, it's pretty good. 
And I realise that I'm not a cinematographer within the AFC just yet. But it's not bad. It did feel like I was doing these rivals forever, but as you can see, we're actually safely in Division 7, which is what you want. Along the way, we get 200 assists, which gets us that nice assist trophy. So we're building up our trophies. We also complete finishing mastery, which gets us 250 goals, which is a pack. And it's also another cosmetic evolution, which is the, I believe it's the top scorer. Yeah, goal scorer here, which I feel like we probably have to give to someone like Antonio, because Antonio, as you'll find out a little bit later on when I show stats, is our top goal scorer. We also get a jumbo rare player pack from one of those rewards we just did. And look, it's a decent player. Right wing Brazilian Real Madrid. I've got this guy on my main team as well. But in this RTG, he's absolutely useless because we can't even use him at all on this account. But Rodrigo's not bad. This is the game that we um, basically champs is on the line. If we win this, with that Vardy evolution being worked on in the middle. And it looks like we are going to win it. If you look with the Antonio goal after the Vardy one there. This will get us enough points to take us to our first set of champs qualifiers in the next episode. And that's a rage quitting coming on 28 minutes. And that is our qualification to our first champs of this RTG. And I reckon we could probably lose every single qualifier. So... Make sure you stay tuned for next episode for that, because that's going to be um, interesting. Might be okay. We might get a few goals now. We've got a fully upgraded Vardy there. This card as well. Look at this. 85 acceleration, 79 sprint speed. That's not amazing, but so much better than it was. With his chemistry style on, 90 fin 88 finishing, sorry, because it's the 81 plus there. We needed a finisher. I reckon Vardy's going to be very usable now we've got him in this evolution, so... I'm happy. I'm happy with the Evos that have come out so far that we've been able to utilize them. But please give us more, EA. 107 games played for Antonio. 107 goals. He scored a goal a game. You see, I want to give him the top score a sort of cosmetic Evo, and I'm probably going to have to, but then it'll just get removed when we put him in another Evo because apparently they've not worked that out, which is actually very annoying. We do get another cosmetic Evo here again. It's an eight-day thing, so we've got, like, three cosmetic Evos now to be doing in eight days. This pack's just got an 84 in it, but I think it was only a 75 too, so that's not too bad at all. Rivals rewards are here, and the game's crashed. So I have to back all the way out, go back in the game, and, hmm, seems you've got some items. Let's look at a completely useless lone player that we can't use because there's no lone players, really, that we'd be able to use. Harry Kane's in this, though, so it's Declan Rice. That's, you know what? I'll take Harry Kane and he's going to expire and we can't use him. So, fantastic. We can use this, though. Prime Gold Players Pack. I'm begging for a walkout. It's not a walkout because this is a tradable pack. Are we going to get anything that's ideally tradable? Whatever we did have there is actually gone to the duplicate. So, it's a duplicate, whatever it is. Fabinho's not worth any money. These players aren't really worth any money. But I do spot in the middle. That's a first own Godfrey. We've now got a first stone Godfrey and we can actually keep him in the club because we used a cosmetic on his other one. Ben White was the big hit in that pack. It's about He's about 2K. It's a few more coins to add to our 330K odd. But this pack does have a walkout. The 75 plus 20, 75, 20 or something. I think you know who this is. It's looking like all black straight away. 88 fodder is not bad whatsoever. So we played all of those games and we got cards we couldn't really use, but I guess we got Godfrey from it. So first own Godfrey. Gold. Not too bad. And this is actually a decent pack. I'd be really happy with our black if we could use him. But we can use him for fodder. We've now got two Club Legend Evos, which we can put on players, and one goal scorer, which we'll be doing next episode. A commenter also asked me to buy, buy Lopez, um, who played for us a while back. So I have bought Lopez. He is in the squad. Look at this. EA have answered my prayers. I thought we might get a Deli Basharu one or something because he's been playing really well. I thought we might get a Martinez, but I didn't think that we'd get something so early that we could use in this RTG. It's a Ben Godfrey SBC, 85 rated centre back, 83 pace, 53 shooting, 70 passing, 71 dribbling, 81 defending, 83 physical. He's probably our in-game centre-back. For, for the next six months, he's going to be our centre-back, isn't he? Because we're not going to be able to get anyone better with the restrictions we've got. 
and I love it. He could get upgrades as well. It's fantastic. Jockey, block, intercept, slide, tackle, bruiser. He's got all of them except the one I really love, which is um, anticipate. But he does seem to have fullback, left back, so he can play the wing. So the, sorry, the fullbacks. So we we have options now. Next episode, we're going to complete that SBC, and we're going to try and not lose every single game of the champs qualifiers. A lot to watch next episode, but please, guys, keep supporting this series. Share it if you've got mates who like this sort of thing, but just subscribe and like it. I'd appreciate it. It'd go a long way. Let's get this Godfrey. Let's get this team going. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things, and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.